I got mostly out of it is towards the end he talked about like the mental approach to the game and that's something I've been battling with a lot as far as um, competition in golf has gone. There's um, a lot about discovery and it's kind of like if you're trying to figure out what's going wrong you can only pick one thing to fix at a time. Focus on just working on your grip for a little bit or focus on just working on your tempo um, so you can kind of figure out like what you really need to focus on. And then there was one about one of the players went to UNLV. He's a lot like me. He's a really great ball striker. Struggled a little bit with his putting, so he played because of the strength in his long game, which is something that I can definitely relate to. But when he got to UNLV, his coach was obviously really good at putting mechanics, but his goal was to make Chris a better putter. And to do this, he would say, what are you, Chris, on the course? And he'd be like, oh, I'm like two under right now, or I'm not doing too well. I was like, no, what are you, Chris? And throughout like his four years of college, he learned that his answer was, I'm a great putter. So every time he saw him, what are you, Chris? I'm a great putter. And it kept like reminding him and like making him know that he's a good putter, and now he's one of the best putters in the world. There is this quote that I really like that says, you may have goals, but remember life happens in between goals. That's true, like you, you fight to get something, but there are things that are gonna happen along the way, and you never know. So.